Hi, this is Joe Rataski with the Hillsborough County Elementary Math Department. I'm here to look at fluency practice with triangle fact cards for multiplication and division. First off, let's quickly look at what fluency is. Uh, the new Florida BEST standards have set expectations for fluency with operations and automaticity with facts through three stages. The three stages are exploration, where students develop the understanding of the operations, procedural reliability, where students apply the skills from exploration, procedural fluency, where they then apply the skills from procedural reliability to become more fluent and efficient, and all the while, students are building towards automaticity, which is the ability to quickly recall facts from memory. Triangle fact cards work in stage three and towards the building of automaticity. So be sure your child has gone through the first two stages before you are using triangle fact cards. What's the difference between triangle fact cards and traditional flash cards? Well, first off, triangle fact cards really contain the same amount of facts as four traditional flashcards. Additionally, triangle cards will show the inverse relationship between the operations, which traditional flashcards do not. So essentially, your triangle fact cards, they're four times as awesome. So how does one triangle fact card do the work of four traditional flashcards? First of all, they employ a strategy based on the commutative property of multiplication. We can look at arrays with equal rows and columns to understand how this works. Let's look at three rows of four. We're going to have 12 squares in this array. Now let's look at four times three, which can be showed as four rows with three in each row. We're still going to have 12 squares. So as students have explored and examined this property, they'll soon come to understand that if I know three times four, I should also know four times three or vice versa. The commutative property of multiplication helps cut down on the number of facts that we must remember nearly in half. If I know three times four is 12, then I should also know that four times three is 12. So if I know all of these facts in blue, then basically I should also know all the facts in orange. That looks much easier than trying to understand all of these facts separately. How does the commutative property work with your triangle fact cards? By not showing the factors in order, kids can think of both facts at once, or they can use the one that they know or they think is easier. So on this triangle fact card, we can work on both the facts 8 times 6 and 6 times 8, and knowing both of those will result in the product of 48. At this point, children could use the triangle fact cards to practice any known multiplication facts. To use the cards, you simply cover the product. The top value typically represents the product. It could be marked with an asterisk, a dot, it could be circled, it could be a different color. There are many options. Pull one of your triangle cards and cover the top with your thumb and ask the child for the product. What is three times four? And remember that you or the child can switch the order of the factors because the product will remain the same. Maybe I know four times three, but I don't know three times four. Either way, I know the product is going to be 12. Or on the bottom, realizing eight times six and six times eight both give me the same product of 48. For a student tutorial from the Florida Department of Education on the community property, you can visit this website below. So how is division represented with these triangle fact cards? Here's the magic of the triangle fact cards. They include both multiplication and division. These cards can be used to think multiplication. Since division is the opposite of multiplication, many students find it easier to think about groups needed or to think multiplication to find the answer to a division problem. So if I'm thinking about 48 divided by six, many students find multiplication easier 
and they would think of it as a missing factor problem. We might think of this as how many groups of six would it take to make 48? Students explored array models earlier, so they hopefully will know that 6 times 8 or 8 times 6 gives me the product of 48. So now we can use the triangle cards to focus on division or missing factors. This time, cover one of the bottom corners. In our example above, you would see by covering up the bottom corner, we now have the problem of 12 divided by 3. I could use my multiplication facts. Maybe I already know that 3 times 4 is 12. Or, simply, I know my division. Same thing can be had down at the bottom. 48 divided by 8. Or I could think, hmm, how many groups of 8 would it take to make 48? Well, I explored my array before, so I know 6 times 8 is 48. The triangle fact cards make use of the commutative property to work on both related multiplication facts. So here, 8 times 6 and 6 times 8. And now that we've integrated the inverse relationship, we see how a single triangle card can also include related division facts. 48 divided by 8 and 48 divided by 6. The related facts that can be made from triangle fact cards can be re referred to as a fact family. Each fact family has four related facts, just like the four traditional fact cards that each triangle card represents. So on this card, we see our two multiplication facts, 8 times 6 equals 48, 6 times 8 equals 48, and also our two division, 48 divided by 6 equals 8, and 48 divided by 8 equals 6. Children can cover a corner, any corner, and write the four facts and the fact family, including where the missing value belongs in each equation. So by covering up here, I know I have 8 times something equals 48, or the opposite of that of how many groups of 8 equals 48. Then I also have my two division problems, 48 divided by something equals 8, and 48 divided by 8 equals something. This will help children practice and notice the relationship between all of these facts. With practice, children build their procedural fluency and realize if they know any one of these facts, that should help them to solve for all of the other three. Now it's time to really have some fun. After all, you cannot do this with traditional fact flashcards. Pick a card and cover any corner. Students use whatever knowledge, multiplication, division, or the relation between those to figure out what the missing number is. So above, maybe 3 times 4 or 4 times 3 gives me 12. In our example below, I could think 48 divided by 6, or I could think how many groups of 6 make 48 to find the missing factor of 8. With this practice, children are working towards their automaticity and quick recall of basic facts. It's easy to make your own triangle cards. Cut out triangles, and they don't even have to be perfect. Determine the fact families you want to work on with your child, and remember it's not necessary to repeat facts on new triangles. So once you make a card with 48, with 6, and with 8, you don't need another card that has 48 and 8 and 6 switched around. You can circle the product, put an asterisk, a dot, make it a different color, whatever you want to do. Be on the lookout for other fluency games and support from home. Be sure to visit smathsmart.com for additional math tools and resources, or you can visit our YouTube channel, MathSmartsPD.